Ya, hi, I'm Dr. Kevin, a uh, gynecologist in uh, Pantai Hospital, Sungai Petani. Uh, today we did a procedure where a lady has uh, gross adenomyosis of the uterus. There are two nodules, more than 6x4 and uh, 5x4cm. It's actually quite large. And then she also has fibroids and endometriosis as well. So what we did just now was uh, we did a laparoscopic clearance of the endometriosis and uh, the fibroid was not large. Therefore, we could remove it laparoscopically. But in view of the fact that she's uh, keen for fertility and the adenomyces is very extensive, resection might not be uh, advisable because it will compromise the integrity of the uterus. Therefore, uh, we've selected to do it through a uh, microwave thermal ablation, which is actually less invasive and uh, less scarring on the uterus and uh, will be better in the future if she gets pregnant and there will be a less chance of a scar rupture. Uh, I think the advantage of uh, having it done uh, through microwave thermal ablation is that it's actually a minimal invasive procedure. Sometimes it can also be done percutaneously. That means you don't even have to make an incision on the abdomen at all. With the ultrasound guidance, you can actually do it. And uh, definitely there will be less pain, less bleeding, less scarring and patient is able to go back uh, with a shorter hospital stay and it's actually effective or as effective or even more effective sometimes than an open surgery especially in adenomyosis where, where sometimes uh, surgical resection cannot be done completely and uh, with a microwave thermal ablation there can be uh, destruction of the adenomyosis with a subsequent resorption and healing and you can see that actually the, uh, the effectiveness might actually be more than actually having it done uh, uh, through a uh, surgery by resecting the adenomyces. Yeah, the improvement can be seen fairly quickly in terms of the symptoms. And I think most obviously is the size of the adenomyoma. Uh, as we actually follow up with the patients, you can see that it's the uterus shrinks in size. Symptomatically, there's a relief from uh, dysmenorrhea or period pain, which they usually present with. At the same time as well as uh, reduction in uh, heavy periods as well, which is one of the common presentation with adenomyosis. Adenomyosis usually is not cancerous. Uh, only thing is that there can be a lot of uh, detrimental effects such as period pain, uh, even pain during sexual intercourse, and also heavy periods which actually can drastically reduce the uh, quality of life. And uh, on top of that, especially those who are keen for fertility, it could be one of the cause of uh, infertility as well.